39-year-old Dan Woolley safely being pulled from the Hotel Montana after being trapped in an elevator shaft for 65 hours. Dan was airlifted to Jackson Memorial Hospital where he talked about the three tools that helped him survive. I couldn't see anything. It was completely dark. And so, but with my camera, this is actually, this is actually my camera. Um, and this thing really, you know, having this, I, I feel like God gave this to me to, to help save my life um, because I was able to uh, use its focus light to kind of see around. There was a gash in my leg, um, which I saw when, with the light of the camera. But I could tell I was bleeding a lot there. I was bleeding from the back of my head. And so um, I had my uh, iPhone with me, and um, I had a medical app on there. So I was able to look up um, treatment of excessive bleeding and compound fracture. And then uh, so I used my shirt to tie my leg and um, a sock on the back of my head and um, you know, later used it for the for other things like um, to diagnose shock, and so I kind of did some t self diagnosis as I went. While Dan was determined to live, he also realized he might not be rescued in time. So, in this blood stained notebook, he left messages for his wife and two sons. Josh, choose the right path every day. If you stumble, get right back on the right path. Um, with your kindness and your love for God, you can be a great leader of men. Don't just live. Change the world, Josh. And Josh is six. And then Nathan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to get to know you, but I already love your laugh and smile, and I love wrestling with you. You know, I just didn't want them to not have something from, from me.